right, YouTube. We're gonna do a lesson here real quick. I've already taught my kids this lesson. Um, I have a clean spot to set this down. I'll take a take a risk, I guess. We'll go right off this roof here on this semi-clean piece of bark. Maybe. Oh. All right. Whoops. Sorry, you're all crooked now. All right. So, everybody knows what this is. I get on the ground here. It's a level. To use a level, you try to get that bubble in the middle, right? Now, if I measure in the ground, I got lots of dips and, oops. I got lots of dips and dives under here. And it's never, it might give me a level when most of it's not. So this is not always the ideal tool for checking level. It's great on lumber, on surfaces you know are straight for the most part. But here's one that I learned about not too long ago. And you don't have to be a genius to figure this one out. So I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to, I got a scribed line here. All right, I'm just following the groove I put in there. Everyone's like, what is he talking about? I can't see it. All right, so the black, the line, right? See the pendulum? If it's leaning back, it won't work very good because it's dragging, right? See the drag? It, it may not, may or may not be straight, see? So it's gotta be leaning forward. Um, I need to straighten, or not straighten, but cut these to a tip and make sure they're even on both sides to make sure it's level. The angle you cut on this guy here, this is not a 45 degree angle. Stay back, please. Dad, this is what? Um, um what? Do it. <laughs> Did he come out and take over? What if we what if we share? He's not sharing. He's not. Yeah. But what if we did share? Would it make us all happier? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's let him do it for a little while, okay? All right. All right. Dad's in the middle of showing some showing people stuff here. Yeah. All right. This is evil on my lower back. So I'm gonna set this on the ground. Lean it forward just a little bit so it'll, it'll swing freely. And you'll see that it does not. Maybe you'll see. It does not line up perfectly with this black line. But that's because this side, whoops, this side of the dirt is higher. So I take a flat nose shovel. I lied, okay? The other side was higher. So I lifted this, I lifted this side up and I looked and saw how far up I needed to dig this side to get it level. And then I check, I check level in more, more, can we stop that please? We check level in more than one direction. And that, Daddy, I got the They're helping, all right? So this is this is also a challenge. So if you guys saw the wood stacked video, you know why. So this is wood daddy. You can build these if you don't have a level. And I used a bolt um, and a string. I used 550 gut and a little uh, a, um, a furniture screw. You can build a, a triangular frame however you want. Um, the trick is from the top down to the bottom on each leg. Try not to break my level, please. You wanna make sure from tip to tip on each side. She's filling my computer with dirt. Stop that, please. All right. I think y'all get the point. <laughs> I hope y'all get the point. Driving me nuts. You ever try working with kids? Okay, come over here so I would have some peace and quiet. And we can tell it doesn't work. So 
Another way to check if you're level or not. Hey, don't be spitting, please. That's gross. Don't be spitting. Go in the house. You need to take care of a runny nose. All right. So, you might need to take care of more than that. Go see your mom. All right. Guys, tried to show you how I make sure my ground is level. I like this versus this. This is great for framing or whatever. And I got a plastic one because it sounds bad, but I'd rather this thing break than bend. Because if it's broken, I know it's broken. If it's bent, it might be bent just enough you can't tell. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna go back to work. I think my back has had enough of a break. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.